Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham, and welcome to my show. And today we're going to be taking a call from a gentleman named Sam who has a pretty unique financial situation that he wanted to discuss with me. So let's bring him on the show and uh, see what it's all about. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about my financial situations. Um, so I can stay back all the way back. Okay. 10 years ago, I was actually started playing poker. Okay. Um, before that, uh, a little bit of background about myself. Um, I am super frugal. <laughs> I'm one of those guys who doesn't spend uh, uh, spontaneous like luxury stuff or anything. Okay. I try to save up money and um, live below the means and whatnot, all of that stuff. And then um, 10 years ago, I started playing poker uh, in my college dorm room. When we started, obviously, we started off with like uh, nickels and dimes and whatnot. And then uh, I found out during my lunchtime, I would always win. And I'll be like getting like $5 back then. I was like, oh, wow, this is this is good. And then I was like thinking, yeah, okay, hey, I can make it sort of like a side hustle, whatnot, while I'm working and whatnot. Um, so I started getting more involved into poker. I started reading uh, poker books and uh, psychological books and all the mathematics, everything related to poker. I, I know mm. there was gambling. Uh, uh, associated to it, but there were a lot more odds and uh, math, math and psychology behind it. So I didn't think of it as a gambler mm-hmm. kind of my approach. Yeah. Even though there is some associated to it. So and then my buddy who was always playing with me, he always said that, "Hey, you're really good at poker. Why don't you take it to the next level and go to the casino and whatnot?" Right. And I wasn't fond of the casino whatnot um, because growing up we always um, looked down upon. Uh, casinos or gambling situations so I was like no and then after a while uh, it got to me I'm like well, why not give it a shot right okay. and you make it like a part time kind of like weekend kind of like thing so started going to the casino and yeah uh, uh, little or not I would always went here and there and I would start making uh, enough money so I maybe this could be my second kind of like um, side hustle while I'm uh, working or whatnot. and I got to a point where it just um, I started losing in a row. And in poker, it usually happens. You go through these swings where you're like, uh, you lose a little and you start getting tilted. And when you get tilted, that's the worst feeling ever. And I got to a point where all my buddies, who, like well, the poker guys I play with at the casino, they always um, lose here and go to this um, dark side, which is called the back rat. And everyone talks about this dark side. And when we're, whenever we're playing poker, we talk about stuff. So they always say, hey, I went to the dark side and I made this much and this much, blah, right? So it got to me in a way because one time I had a straight flush, the other guy had another uh, higher straight flush. And I was like, so tilted. I was like, holy cow, how do you have that? And the way he played it, it didn't make sense. And I was like, that's not possible, that's, that's ridiculous. So I got really upset. And then I had thousand um, dollars on me, and I was like, "No, I, I, I'm not gonna rebuy, and I'm gonna take the five hundred, go to this background, let me try it out, right?" So one bet, if I win, it's it's give or take fifty percent. It's almost right. like fifty coin, yeah. but it's not obviously fifty. <laughs> um, obviously, the house has an edge. Um, so I put uh, on play or whatnot, and I won. I was like, "Oh, this is sick! I just got kind of like a thousand dollars for." Two minute work, right? Yeah. So I took that money, right away ran into the poker room and I sat down again. And again, within like an hour or two, I lost all that money. And I was like, oh my God, that took a minute in back rat and I just lost it in like a couple hours. And I'm like, okay, let me try it one more time. And so I took the last 500 and went to the back rat and I put it again and I won. I was like, okay, this is, this is too crazy. This is, it, it shouldn't happen like this. So I'm like, okay, let me just take the whole money, go to poker. Again, I lose in poker. And I went home that day broke. And I was like, that that triggered me. And I think that yeah. might be the reason why I got stuck in the whole background. And then after that, I was like thinking, hey, I'm spending hours in poker to make a couple hundred dollars or whatnot. Whereas in background, it just took me like five minutes or not even like two minutes to make that same amount. And I was like, hey, let me just try it out. And then that's how I got sucked in. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, and for the last four years or whatnot, I've been going to back red. I lost, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I went down, uh, down $70,000, which is a lot of money. Yeah. And I actually recovered all of that back. Because um, in back red, you got huge swings. You get 
you get lots of losses and lots of wins. And yeah. then I got seventy thousand back. And then again, I lost all that seventy thousand, and um, I lost another thirty on top. So uh, no, forty. So around one hundred twenty. Uh, and then I got it back again, <laughs> the second time. Oh my god! And okay. Yeah, it's it's such a swing, and uh, I was going through hell getting it, and then now I'm down two hundred forty thousand. Um, that's when I pulled out my line of credits, my credit card. Yeah, cash advance on credit card, worst. Um, all my loans, everything, and I went literally kaput. Like I, everything's maxed out, and I, I'm a type of guy that doesn't believe in bankruptcy or um, uh, a consumer letter. I, I looked at all of this. I, I right. just didn't feel right to me because I was like, hey, this is my own fault. I should own up to it and I should pay it. So um, after I was down to 40, I was like, you know what, screw it. Let's stop everything and then just work it off. So I started working um, my day job Monday to Friday eight hours and then after that I would do some um, extra like I did photography on the side and then after that I did Uber on the weekends yeah. so I would do night shift on mm-hmm. Uber literally did everything and I got it down to 100 okay and and that's when I was like I was drowning in debt and I was like I can't keep doing this and 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 I was like, okay, let me just go back one more time and um, lost another 100K. So, Wow, man. Yeah. By the way, yeah. um, so I come at this from the perspective of I, I've played Baccarat. I played craps. I played blackjack. I've, I've done all of it. Um, and your story reminds me literally of the exact same story of basically my best friend the exact same story. He played poker. He made a lot of money in poker, but then he he lost a, he lost a lot of it playing Baccarat and playing craps. So I've, I've seen it from the perspective of like being a best friend to someone who's been through everything that you've done. I think the main concern is addressing the gambling in the first place. Um, the, the paying off the debts and everything could come second. I think that what's most important is is really, and I don't know much about gambling addiction, so I don't want to make it sound like I'm I'm an expert when I when it comes to any of this. I'm just talking to you as as though I would talk to a friend. Um, so just take that with a with a grain of salt that you know I'm not a, you know a therapist or a psychiatrist. I don't really know the psychology be, behind gambling addiction, but I would absolutely treat that first and really hold yourself accountable because. It's it's such a negative cycle, and I've I've seen it firsthand, and I've seen what happens where you can be doing fine for like six months and not go to the casino, and then all of a sudden it's just like one night of boredom can literally trigger the entire thing again and be sent on that downward spiral, or you can have one day where you just you you just uh, there's a lapse in judgment and you decide I'm going to go back, and then you win fifty, a hundred k, and then it's like oh well now I have all this money now I may as well just play with it because now it's house money and now is my chance to get out of it. But it, from what I've seen firsthand, there is no way to win long term. I wouldn't even go near a casino at this point, and I wouldn't even try to make that money back. I would just consider it if it were me, I would consider it a loss. And right now is your your ground zero. You know it 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 just you you know right now if it. And I know it's easier said than done that if you don't go ever again, that it's never going to get worse. It can only get worse if you play because the casino will always win. And what I've seen too is even let's say if you do win it back, let's just say hypothetically you go back to the casino and you win 300 grand. Let's just say, I almost guarantee that if you don't solve the root issue of what's really causing it, you're going to go back at some point and it's going to happen all over again. Because I've seen it firsthand. I, I've seen my buddy win, you know, six figures in a, in a night, and then just you know, it, then it just the cycle happens again. So I would really seek what I don't know what what help you you've you've tried reaching out for in so, terms of gambling addiction, but that yeah, that's sure. number one. Um, but I would absolutely the first thing before dealing with anything else is reach out to someone one on one, and really get to the root of the issue. Um, yeah. 
because because that's more important than paying off debt. That's more important than saving money and investing. I think is solving the root issue first and foremost before anything else. And again, I'm not. I don't treat it like like I, I know what I'm talking about here because I'm talking to you like I would talk to a friend. I mean, that's exactly what I would tell mm-hmm. my friend. And that's what I've told him. Um, so don't. That's the thing. Yeah. When you're in a normal stage, all of these things make crystal clear sense. And yeah. when you're in that gambling sincerity. Like mindset, uh, mindset your everything's out of the door. You're like even your bill that's about to be due next day, like your rent. Yeah, because because yes, I get it. Because there's always the hope that you're yeah. one you're one hand away from changing your yeah. entire life. And I get it. I get it. Yeah, I totally understand that. But you really got to solve the issue first of why yeah. why this is coming up and why you need that. So I, I, what do you what do you call it? Instant gratification. What what yeah, is it? That's you know. Because I get it that because right now you always had that hope every time you go into the casino that like you hope that now could be different and you 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 have that optimism that this is it this is the last time now I can change it I'm gonna win it all back just you know this you have a good feeling about it and that feeling keeps coming back no matter how many times you lose every single time you lose wait a week and then you have the same feeling like okay now it's now it's gonna be different um, and try, I like because I've seen I've seen it firsthand it's it's never different long term it's always a losing proposition and there's no point chasing putting good money after bad because that's all you're doing right now you're throwing good money after bad money right now the money the, the money's already gone and I, I think i would just tackle it from moving from from moving right now onwards yeah definitely no no um that totally makes sense what you're saying yeah because i could tell you're a smart guy i mean to play poker it's not <laughs> It's not yeah. easy to play poker. I've tried to learn how to play poker, and it's really tough. And calculating pot no, odds and you're, you're and just right percentages. Yeah, it, it does stress you. And I always end up taking time outs with me because I'll get a huge migraine. Yeah. You're, all you're thinking about is what does that guy have? What does he think I have? What does he think that I think he has? Yeah. It's crazy. It's a possibility. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen people make a career off of it, but they never yeah. do it. I've never seen someone do it like long. It's, it seems like the people who make a career out of it are really good at it for a few years. They make their money. They yeah. cash out. Um, and then they then they invest it somewhere and they do something else. I don't think it's a, it's a career for any sort of long longevity yeah yeah uh, but no, no, no. I would, yeah. Uh, my mindset wasn't to be like yeah. it was more of a, like a side hustle that's fair like, enough yeah. yeah yeah that's fair enough um so yeah so i would treat i would treat the issue first yeah so the whole point of me was to actually um the whole goal was to get all my money back from the casino and then just call turkey in and um obviously save up and kind of follow you up for, you know, buying a house and then renting it out um, not living in it for a while until yeah. everything gets cash flow positive and that was the whole idea behind it and then my wife wanted to be a real estate on a side hustle okay. kind of like do real estate and whatnot got it um let's let's cover the first one um i would look into the first thing i would look to do is chip away at the debt and look into some sort of debt consolidation because the thing is if you're maxing out personal loans and credit cards and everything like that i i i would be nervous to ask what your interest rate is on on all of this it's it's pretty bad like the credit card obviously they're really they're at the highest right 26 26%. yes so the first thing i would do debt consolidation because there's no sense in having all of that credit card debt all of these high like there's 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 no logical reason why you should ever need to pay 20 something percent in interest i would look into any sort of debt consolidation possible that you can do right now even if, even if you're paying 10% or 15% it's still better than paying 25 to 30% on a credit card anything is better yeah, than doing that that's the thing uh, I keep getting denied for every one of them <laughs> cuz their my debt ratio is really bad um, in a sense that i they're, they're afraid that I might go bankrupt. Okay. Well, the, nobody wants to take on that risk. <laughs> that I understand that, that that is a big risk. Yeah. I would put. I know you're putting everything you can into paying down the debt. I would do. I would continue doing that and just yeah. grind so and grind it out and yeah. and focus. I wouldn't see. I know Dave Ramsey does the debt snowball. Um, yeah. 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 And I, I think maybe there there are some psychological reasons to paying off one credit card at a time. And I'll, uh, if it were me, 
what I would personally do is focus on whatever the highest interest rate is first yeah, yeah. and then pay that down first because at the end of the day, I mean, that's going to save you the most amount of money. Um, yeah. If, if you're the that's t- kind of what I'm doing right now. So Good. I'm just paying off the credit card first and everything else just a minimum payment. And once that's gone, then to the next one. Uh, unfortunately, my credit card is the, uh, one of the highest. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 So, and, I would I would be doing anything you can, and uh, I know you're mentioning taking taking up you know side jobs and everything like that. I would continue doing that uh, because it, it, the way the way I would see it is every dollar you make is really worth a dollar twenty five. Because if you're paying twenty five percent in interest, that's going to save you twenty five percent. So every dollar you make right now is really worth twenty five percent more. So that's the way I would look at it. You make ten k, that's really worth you know twenty five percent more than it's really worth twelve thousand five hundred. And really just put everything you have into into getting this down. And more importantly than that is just it, it gets professional help yeah. to really solve the issue. Because I'm afraid even if you pay down the debt, I, I just I don't want to see you go back to that. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid. But I haven't tried the one-on-one. I, I think I'll- oh, absolutely. That that's what I would do tomorrow. Like I, because I, yeah. I hate to say it, but I, that to me is more important than the debt right now. I mean, the debt sucks, uh, mm-hmm. but I think your own well-being and the long-term outlook of all of this is way more important than than paying twenty-five percent in interest or whatever it is. Because look, at, like in in the long run, I think that is going to help you more than anything else. Even paying off the debt or doing anything, I, I think making sure you're mentally okay. Uh, and, and, and stable enough not to go back to that, I think is more important than anything. And then once you're in that sort of mindset where you, you can, you feel good about that, then I would really do everything you can to really focus then on the debt afterwards. But again, that's just my, my own opinion. So anyway, man, I really appreciate the call and, uh, I hope this is helpful. Again, this is just what I would tell a friend. So I don't by any means think I'm an expert in this. This is just like, if you're, you know, if you're a friend, this is what I would say to, to a friend. So I really appreciate, yeah, I really appreciate the call, and um, I I expect a follow up that like six months from now we can have some sort of positive message in the future. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I think this is an honor for you to actually even call me. I think that's a boost on its own. No, oh, thanks, man. Oh, you know what? Yeah. This this will be interesting because now this is going to be on the second channel. We have all of the viewers that. Better hold you responsible for this, because not only is it just me. Now it's yeah. now it's whoever watches the video to the very end. At this point, they're going to be cheering on for you too, not to do this. So it's not just me anymore. It's not just your wife. It's everybody who's watching right now and expecting six months from now that you're going to have a, a positive outcome from all of this. So that's the goal. We're gonna we're putting you on the spot right now. That's the whole goal with this. You're on the spot. So that's your accountability. <laughs> that, that's that's crazy. It's a mouthful. Um, so if anyone wants, stuff, yeah. So yeah. if anyone wants to comment down below with any sort of encouragement for Sam, I mean, feel feel free. Or if, or actually, I mean, if anyone has any personal experience with this, I think it would help. Yeah. Um, and you better yeah, be definitely. you better be reading all of these comments and responding to them. <laughs> no, definitely. Because I think we're all rooting for you. And by the way, you, I just have to say, you have an. It sounds like you have an amazingly supportive wife. So yeah, yeah, you really lucked out with that one. <laughs> See, that's like that's like winning the lottery, man. Talking about go to a casino, you already you already won the jackpot with your wife. Seriously, to to find to find someone who's that supportive and yeah, who's really encouraging of you. Oh, you got yeah, you yeah. that's where you got lucky, yeah. man. Not in the casino. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, and not seeing all these blind spots when you're yeah so. Find it, but everything else, right? Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Well, anyway, man, uh, we'll follow up in a few months. Uh, thank you again, and uh, really appreciate this. All right, thanks so much, cool. man. You got it.